In today's video, we're gonna teach you how to properly test for hydrogen production using the blue drops. Okay, so first step here is make sure your hydrogen shot is charged. Make sure the port that it came with and the cord, those two things are only to be used with this. Nothing else, no cell phone charger, it will short the battery out. So make sure you're just doing that. Now the, the next step here is make sure that you've tightened the cap, the BPA-free Triton cap here to the actual battery port. And it's lined up. It's not lined up here. <laughs> it will leak and it's not going to need a tight seal. Okay. So that's the first step. And then the second step is take that cap off and put distilled water in it. If it's not distilled water, there's many other things in the water and then we won't get an accurate test. So you want to make sure you do that. Now, when we're filling it up here, just kind of move it right to you. You don't want to go all the way to the very top. So don't go all the way to the very top. Come about about a half half an inch or so and maybe just a little bit below the spine but if you go to the top it's too much pressure and it can't and it's going to leak because it, it can't sustain that much gas in there so just make sure to leave a little breathing room there we're just going to fill it up right about here all right and then we're going to put our cap on and make sure again the cap is lined up it's not lined up it will not be accurate okay and then we're just going to double tap it here to turn it on and then we are going to notice a battery charge here it's fully charged and it's at 10 minutes okay so then we're going to leave it here for the next 10 minutes and we'll be back to show you how to check All right, it's just getting finished up here. And so I've got a little stir stick here. You're most likely not gonna use it, but you might go through that. And then we will have our beaker. Here. So what we're gonna do is make sure we fill it up correctly. Six milligrams, okay? And the trickiest part about this is every time you move it from one to the other, you're losing a lot of the gas. So that's a huge variable. And so we wanna try to get as close to the container as possible without you know overfilling or underfilling and not having to re-dump it in. And so we'll do our best here to make sure that it's possible, okay? So you hear that snap? Woo, that's great. If you don't hear that, it could be because there's lipstick on here and then the it's not a tight seal. It's just not gonna, you're not gonna hear that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and see what we can do. So we're gonna go ahead and pour it in here and we're gonna just try our best here. Ooh, see now what I did is I overfilled it. So now what I need to do, and I'm just gonna use our cup over here because I can't pour it out and then pour it back again because again, the gas is gonna go away. So you're really trying to work hard and get into the six. Okay, ooh. There it is. Okay, perfect, right there. Okay, now you wanna get your blue testing drops. And even sitting here, it's losing the gas. So you have to make sure these bottles have been tested using gas chromatography, which is the only way to certify it. Okay, so then when you're doing it, you don't wanna come with the drops way up here. You wanna get the drops as close to possible. Okay, and I know that there's gonna be at least 15 to 20 drops. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put 15 to 20 drops in the first time, then I'll wait. If you do it one by one by one, every single time you do it, it's another, you know, it's, it's kinda like if you throw a rock in the ocean, it makes ripples, right? It's gonna stir up the gas. So we're gonna go ahead and put 15 drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so because it's dissolving so quickly, we can go ahead and do another 15 or 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 40 drops. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fifty drops. Okay. And it's still going. So you see how there's a little bit at the top here? So this is when you can use your little stirring instrument, because if you slosh it around again, you're gonna lose gas. Okay, so just very gently stir. And okay, so there's fifty drops. Okay, then we're gonna do it again. And here you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, ooh, 16 plus 50 is 65. 65 drops so far. Okay, it's still going. We're just gonna gently stir it, very gently. Okay, so there's 65, all right, and then we'll go again. 65, 66, 70, okay, 70, still going, 70, okay, and again, a little stir. 
70. <laughs> 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, okay. We're getting close, 75, okay, so we're at 75. So that's 7.5 ppm, and it's certified at about, what, almost a little over five? Okay, so there you have it. We're looking between probably 7.2 to 7.5 ppm, okay? So there, that's how you do it. So if you didn't get the same result, then go back to this video and watch it over and over again and make sure that you're doing it properly. Also, if you have the water really cold or really hot, that can also play an effect in the hydrogen blue drops. All right, we'll see you on the next video.